So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover another amazing lab that is cloud and canary deployment so first of all click on start lab and open the console incognito window and if it asks for username and password check the lab for it now here click on i understand and let's move to the next step of this lab here basically you have to just click on i agree and i agree and continue and just activate the cloud shell so just click on it click on continue and just authorize the cloud shell no need to worry many of you are facing some kind of issue with this lab but in this lab we will complete together and you'll be able to complete this lab without any issue so just click on continue and just authorize yourself now here once the cloud shell is ready then you have to just wait for some time and basically in the description box of this video of shared one github repository we'll be using it to complete this lab and no need to worry about it there is no issue on using the github so let's start uh, basically one more important thing is that for completing this lab you need a github account so in case you don't have you have to create it i'll show you how you can create no need to worry about it this on the search box just type the github.com and or you can google it just like normal form you have to fill the email address and password and just create it now in case you have already account just sign in like this and sometimes what happens you may get any kind of output like this you have to verify yourself that just enter the code present on your email you'll be getting this email also okay if you have enabled two-factor authentication you have to just open this now if you have completed this lab earlier and faced issue you need to delete the repository also so how you have to delete you have to just click on this repository and just go to the settings and delete like this okay you have to just scroll down and click on delete this repository just copy the name carefully and just delete it like this and delete the repository okay once you are done this now come back to the github repo for the task number one copy this carefully and just paste on your cloud shell now wait for this to complete basically here we'll be signing in using our personal github account so make sure you have created before hand and you can just create now also so just wait for this command to execute and then we'll be creating basically logging in using our github account so just wait Now here if you see this kind of output you have to just hit enter button okay basically now we are in the stage of signing into our github account so you have to just hit enter wait few seconds and then type y and then again hit enter again hit enter once again now you have to click on this url okay now click on it and if you have already signed you have to just click on the continue button and if you have not then you have to just sign in using the username and password and if you have enabled two factor authentication you have to enter that code first and now we'll copy this one time code for device activation and click on continue once it is done just authorize yourself and finally you are signed into the github account now you have to just move to the github account basically the github repo present in the description will be executing the next step of this lab now run the second command carefully just copy it carefully just paste over here and hit enter now it will take 5 to 10 minutes so you need to wait for it please pay attention to each and every steps and once you complete all the steps you will be definitely complete this lab without any issue now just wait here most of you are facing after this task basically on the action url part so you don't have to open the action url just on the search box type cloud build okay once you get this kind of output just click on cloud build and don't show this message just open it like this now please pay attention to this step basically you have to just come to repository and make sure you are in the second generation okay now click on these three dots and here you have to click on continue setup now select your github id like this and click on confirm you have to just click on confirm and wait for it to get completed once the state is enabled come back over here activate the cloud shell and just come over here and just run this command now this is the last command and once it's completed you will definitely get the score within few minutes now most important thing is that lab takes time to update the score so you need to wait for it okay so you can see here
finally it's done now the main thing is that we have to come to the lab instruction and check the score and lab takes time to update the scores you need to wait for at least two to three minutes and then you'll be able to get the score that's all about this video do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you guys have a great day ahead